skirt. <laughs> That's where we're going! Ooh, landed in Portugal and came in through the same gate that I left out of a week and a half ago. Now we've got a 36 minute metro ride and then I'm there. Four flights of escalators and a flight of stairs later and I made it out of the train station. Short walk to the Airbnb and I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. <laughs> Look who's back! It's Lena and we're in Portugal in Lisbon and then we also have Julia! Hey. <laughs> Julia is one of Lena's friends from Study Abroad, and we're all here to celebrate Lena's birthday. Breakfast for the morning. Kind of regretting not getting that. Yum. By the water, we got some sangria. And yes, it is 11.30 in the morning. Great way to start the day. Making our way around, we got Lisbon City Hall right here. And not sure what this is in front of it. Kind of looks like pretzel. Woo! In Praca do Comercio. Look at that archway. It's a huge plaza. Huge. There are tours going all over this plaza. There's a tour there. There's a tour there. There's a tour there. There's like three over there. It's a big day for tours. Monday's here in Lisbon. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go to the market. Time out market. Here we come. It is insanely busy in here, but I totally understand why because, well, one, it's lunchtime. And to everything I've seen, I want to eat. It all looks so good. Just trying to find a spot in the market. <laughs> Success. We did it. One, two, three. Yay! This is so nice. Going all the way up. Oh. It's a good lookout. Not a bad rooftop bar view. You can see like everything. Ha oh, ha. The suckers down there. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. Beautiful morning. We just started with brunch. 
to celebrate the birthday girl and we have a whole day of activities coming up. <laughs> oh, it's the birthday girl. <laughs> All right, so we have another addition to our little crew here in Lisbon. This is Allie. Hello. She is also someone who studied abroad with Lena and Julia in Florence, Italy. And we're all just here to celebrate the birthday girl. <laughs> oh yeah, they're glasses. <laughs> So our big activity for the day is a food tour. We are going to four places and try all kinds of food and dessert and I'm very excited. This is a technique that we use to, because you can eat this on its own. Right. <laughs> you always have to make sure that you desalt it in properly because otherwise you're going to... I don't know when to switch it. Okay. Do we do it already? Yes, my sister. Yeah. Let's do. Let's start like, oh. don't be shy. Really go into it. That's what's happening. Oh, they're not really. They're not too done. This is the thing about it. So, welcome to Tornacer. Two. Uh, that's the name of this place. I'm just going to cut this. <laughs> cut the head off. Yeah, the crunch and that has, salty. It's like that, that has the best sauce. part, really, mm. for, mm. from the, the little fishies. <laughs> Mm. Crunchy and salty, yeah. Mm. But I just put it to the head. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just... No fish ever. Like, so in my house, they always cook a yeah. different meal yeah. for her because everything that they prepare in my house Crunchy and salty. is mostly fish and seafood, and she yeah. doesn't eat any. Yeah. I'm done. This is, would it be Last stop, gelato. Just ended our tour over by the Parliament Building. Look at that gorgeous building. Ate so much good food, and I'm very full now. How are you guys feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling good. pretty good? <laughs> now it is nap time. We found a secret bakery and got some ham and cheese. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's some good stuff right there. We got some brekkie. Mm -hmm. Brekkie brekkie. Yeah. Third day here in Lisbon and we made it to the Bellum Tower. It sits literally right in the water. And this is actually the Tagus River that I ziplined over in Toledo. It was built in the 16th century and was used as a gateway to the city for explorers. So you can go inside. They have tickets. I'm not sure how much they are, but you go every 30 minutes. We will not be going in today, but you can. So this monument is Pedreos dos Descombramentos. I'm definitely butchering the name. But this is where ships would depart to go and trade in India and uh, the Orient, as Wikipedia says. Celebrating the travelers and traders of Portugal. So here in Belém we have the most famous pastry shop. And this is the line. Not awful. Not too bad. Got the goods. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna eat one plate. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, it was fresh. It's really hot. Oh, that's hot. Fresh. Oh, it's so good, though. Yum. So these pastries are like these warm, delicious, flaky custards and they're like the pastry of Portugal. Only three, yeah, only three people in the world know the recipe for this place's recipe for these pastries. So they can't fly together because otherwise no more pastries for us.
Wow, they look like such a awake bunch. <laughs> just did a thing very excited about it and I was told I have perfect anatomy for this piercing so ooh, ooh, ooh. now we're back at timeout market gonna get some dinner got some pasta with shrimp and scallops yum today we are at the Pina Palace in Sintra and we're currently climbing up Something I did not know about Portugal is that it is very hilly. So uh, if you don't like working out just to walk around, this is not the place for you. Made it up. Now we get to go in. So this palace is a national monument here in Portugal and it is an example of 19th century romanticism and it is one of the seven wonders of Portugal. And I'm the eighth wonder. <laughs> We're going inside which means no photos. See you on the other side. Look at this kitchen. Oh my god. So this place, the Pina Palace, is definitely one of the more expensive palaces I've been to. It was 14 euros for an adult ticket and they do not have student prices, so slow tier for that one. But definitely worth it, especially if you're trying to get some Instagram pics, plenty of places for that. Took a little short walk over to one of the other sites to see in this massive forest surrounding the palace. We're at the Temple of Columns. And if you look really close, you can kind of see the palace right there. We're on our way up to the High Cross and we are climbing this hill. You can't really tell how steep it is, but whoo, feeling it in the booty. We're so close. The last little bit. Oh, there we go. And the cross. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a little better view. You can see a little more. Look at that beautiful palace. And then, Atlantic Ocean over there. And back down we go. Okay, so upon further exploration, I think 14 euros is very reasonable because you could literally spend an entire day like in these grounds exploring. There's so many like, specific sites to see, places you just want to walk around. So if you really want to do it, like pack some food, some snacks, some water, wear some comfortable shoes because it's a lot of cobblestone, and like spend that day and make those 14 euros worth it. Bye bye, Pina Palace. Thank you. Driver's taking us on an adventure.
Amazing. Yeah, from America, they want to try the British dish. <laughs> that man was so nice, and he walked us to the restaurant. Ready to feast. Wow. This looks amazing. Got that sangria with it. Five minutes later, and everything is gone. It was so good. Tascantiga in Sintra. Check it out. It's very good. I think it had like five stars. But I think we have to come back. Totally worth it and not even too expensive. Oh, baby, um, okay. Alright, we're inside the castle of Sintra. It's just me and Allie now. <laughs> the other two were we not the fort. they were not feeling the castles anymore, but we are ready to explore and find this what is it? Like well? The wishing well, well wishing I, think well. It, I don't know if it's a wishing well. Something like that. We're excited. <laughs> oh yeah, this just brings us out like down. Down to the next level down. <laughs> Wait, where is this taking us? I'm so confused. We're gonna try and figure out how to navigate this place. <laughs> okay, we are on track. We asked someone who works here how to get to the well. So now we are on our way. Hopefully it's not too far. Oh, I'm totally oh. yeah, we just found a shortcut by not following the path. Yeah. Here we go, halfway there. Going for a, hopefully another shortcut up this hill. Always go for the road not taken. It's way more fun. <laughs> we found it. We found the well. Uh oh. Oh. Oh my god. <gasps> Allie. This is so cool. This is unreal. So worth it. Into the cave. It is very dark in here. Look at it, we found another well. I'm emerged out into it. This is so cool. What? Yeah, that was that's definitely like normally filled with water. Exploring all possible <laughs> tunnels we can find. Awesome. This place is awesome. Bye bye caves, you were awesome. <laughs> they were amazing. This place is unreal, like, like look at this. Look how lush and green and beautiful. Gotta go, gotta go. Doji doge. Like don't mess with my human. Oh, okay. let's go this way. We got another cave. We got another cave. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, ah. oh, oh. oh, that's cool. Whoa. That oh is God. cool. Dark one out the other side. Oh. So cool. What? what is happening? I thought we just keep getting deeper into this. I know. I don't even know where, where we've been. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's like, ah. Oh. 
Oh, oh it just dripped on me. Oh, I didn't like that. <laughs> and we're back out. So many little tunnels everywhere you go. So cool. What was that place? It was so good. Thank you so much. It was amazing. Yeah. And this was beautiful too. Yeah, this is amazing too. All right. Yeah, very beautiful. Um, as much as we could. For a while. <laughs> we spent some time yeah, for sure. So nice. Leaves this place. That's our, the guy who drove us down from the Peanut Palace earlier and literally walked us to the restaurant. Um, but this place was amazing, Quinta de Regalaria, Palace or Palace of Sintra. Gotta do it. 10 euros? Definitely worth it. Worth it, for sure. <laughs> now we're gonna go find Lena and Julia and get some pastries before we head back to Lisbon. This is the place. Is it? I see pastry like items. <laughs> Got yeah, my traversil without chocolate. How's yours? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Let's see. Let's try this. Ooh. I think she said there's like almond something. Mm -hmm. mm. Not bad. It's good. Last morning, everyone's packing up. Sad. Hi. Hi. Good luck with all your travel. To the airport. Great, thank you. Made it into the airport through security, all set. Got like an hour until I even find out what gate I'm going to. So I got some brekkie, avocado with an egg. Yum, yum, yum. Mode or equivalent setting from the time the cabin doors are closed. 